the Victos War Torn Glove. Victos is a new company, and they are actually headquartered right out of Janesville, Wisconsin, which is where I do my grocery shopping. Um, they're, how local the company is is really what drew me to them initially. Um, I like supporting local businesses. I like Bravo Company, Firearms, Griffin Armament, Silencers. You know, all these things are, are made in Wisconsin or the companies are headquartered out of Wisconsin. And I really like to support those local companies. Midwest Industries is another good example. Um, I wasn't really sure what to expect. It's a, it's a new company. They started in September of 2017. And I had no real expectations other than that I'd heard good things from some other officers that I train with in the area. So when I went and got these gloves, the first thing I thought when I put them on was that they felt like they had been stitched specifically for my hand. Um, they, they fit almost like a second skin. I don't feel like I'm actually wearing a glove. I feel like it's an extension of my hand. Um, I thought the pig gloves had good dexterity principles to them, but these blow them away as far as that goes. This, this glove, I can feel through it, not like I'm feeling through a glove. It's as if I'm actually touching my skin when I touch this glove. As far as a tactical glove goes, one of the issues I had with the pig full dexterity glove was that when I extended my hand like so, the webbing here would come away from my skin, which made it very difficult when I was grasping to draw a firearm from a holster. This glove doesn't have that issue. When I open my hand up, this stays nice and tight against my skin here and allows me to get that high back strap purchase on a firearm when I'm trying to draw it. So starting at the wrist, there is a, a foam pad sewn in on the back of the palm to help protect from impact. Then we have the rubber punch knuckle on this glove with the Victos emblem in the center of it. Uh, the punch knuckle seems like it's strong enough to protect your knuckles if you had to punch somebody. I think it adds a unique cool factor to these gloves, but if there were one thing I was going to change about the glove, it would be to reduce how much that sticks out. Not because I, I don't like it, but simply because if I'm going to wear these as an on-duty patrol glove in law enforcement, I don't want that knuckle to give the impression that I'm looking for an opportunity to punch somebody. Moving forward on the first knuckle, you have your Velcro stitched on for the Moralphabet. And what this allows you to do is it will come with the hashtag war-torn letters already on it but you could replace those with other letters if you wanted to make the glove say something else. Moving forward, you can see the padding stitched in on the second knuckle to protect the backs of your fingers. It seems like the padding is, is just enough to provide adequate protection without adding any unnecessary bulk to the glove. One of the things I'm most happy with about these gloves is how robust and heavy duty this Velcro is. The first thing that happened to my original mechanics gloves was this Velcro quit working. And by comparison, this is a much heavier duty Velcro. It seems like it's gonna be good for a lot more opens and closures before it would ever wear out. Uh, similar to the pig gloves, it's got the 550 cord for the poles here. They seem very strong, they're not coming loose, and they're very effective in seating that glove on your hand. On the insides of the fingers, you've got the this rubberish coating. It's a polyurethane coating that they stick on all five fingers. It's hard to say how long that will last before it starts to peel off, but I do have a very similar thing on my Under Armour gloves that I wear when it's really cold out, and this is their second winter, and most of that is still adhering fairly well, aside from a couple spots where some of it's coming loose. The sides of the fingers, if you look at that, is a breathable mesh to help vent out sweat. Then you have a leather pad here that connects through on the web of the hand. On the palm of the glove is an embossed snake and while this doesn't necessarily add anything to the function of the glove, it doesn't take anything away either. 
And as far as cool factor goes, I realize that neat things like this don't make you a better shooter. They don't make you a stronger person. But the you can't say enough about morale and, and mindset as it comes to tactical things, law enforcement, anything like that. There's, there's a certain sense of pride of ownership when things just look cool. And this glove definitely has that. So if you want to know what's going on with the stitching in a glove, best thing to do is turn it inside out. So if you look at this here, we've got nice uniform stitching. You can see on the back of these knuckles here where the padding is stitched in. You've got your gusseted knuckles. Not a lot of extra material on the ends of these fingers to ball up in there and, and irritate your fingers. So I typically carry appendix style with these gloves on. Drawing that gun out is no problem. Comes out nice and easy. Easy to get my shooting grip. Locks onto the gun nice and tightly. I have a super strong grip on this gun with these gloves. Easy to put it away. Same thing again. Easy to come out, draw it on target. Easy to come back to the holster. Um, for my backup knife that I carry, I have a K-Bar TDI I carry right here. Same thing, that comes out nice and easy. Easy enough to put away. Comes out nice and easy. And then for the pocket knife I carry, easy to get that out, open it up, get a good grip on it. Easy to close the blade back up. Easy to put it away. Comes back out, opens up. No problems. So, for my on-duty rig, I carry a Safari Land. I forget which model it is, but I'll be reviewing that as well soon. And it has the auto locking system in it. Okay. So as far as drawing that holster, doesn't slow me down really at all from what my typical draw is on that holster. My conclusion on these gloves is they have all of the features I liked about the pig glove and none of the features I don't. So one of the issues with the pig was they were so thin, they didn't really offer you a lot of protection. They had very good dexterity. These gloves are slightly thicker, uh, noticeably thicker, more protection in them, but they don't sacrifice any of that dexterity. Something with the materials they're using, the way they're fit. Um, I don't lose any dexterity with these gloves, but I do have more protection than the pig gloves go for. Also is the price. Uh, the pig gloves were running for $42, $45 a pair. Right now, these are full price $35 a pair. Okay. Um, whether they'll stay that low is hard to say. You know, I'm filming this in January of 2018. It's a new company, pricing structures could change, who knows what the future holds, but as of right now, $35. Uh, Victos also offers a 20% discount to active duty, military veterans, law enforcement officers, and firefighters. So if you work in emergency services, you knock your 20% off of that and you're under $30 for these gloves, which is a serious bargain, in my opinion, for what you're getting. If you like this video or found this review helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. If you have any feedback for me, I'd be happy to read it in the comments. Thank you.